Quantum computing stocks continue to skyrocket, and now the news is that the Trump administration is looking to potentially invest in some of these companies. So investors are bidding up shares in hopes of getting another boost if that investment ultimately happens. But should this be an area where investors are considering putting new capital into the market? Some of these stocks have done phenomenally well over the past couple of years. But what does their business look like? What does history say about companies that go skyrocketing like this but have very little revenue? I'm going to dig into all that today. Put I'm going to dig into all that today, hopefully put some context to exactly what's going on in quantum computing, why this is an area of the market that I think investors need to be very, very concerned about. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. If you want more from me, check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing. There's a link on the screen and a link in the show notes of building a market beating for portfolio from zero there. And that has actually crushed the market in 2025, despite the fact that I don't have any com quantum computing stocks in that portfolio. I also want to thank this video sponsor, Fiscal AI. You can get a 15% discount with my code fiscal.ai slash ASYM. I'm going to show just how powerful Fiscal AI is throughout this video. So let's dig into it on Fiscal AI. I want to cover four stocks here. Ionic, Reddy, Rigetti Computing, D-Wave, and Quantum Computing. They all basically have the ex exact same story. But you're looking at since early August 2024, just a phenomenal increase in shares, about 800% for Ionic. But what's going on in the business? And this is where things really change. I'm going to pull three things here. I'm going to pull this for each one of these companies. Blue is going to be revenue. Orange is net income. And purple is free cash flow. So what you're seeing here is that they have very little revenue, $52 billion, million worth of revenue. Net losses are 10 times higher than that. So burning cash at a really rapid rate, that free cash flow, negative $155 million. Now, they do have a nice cash balance, $546 million worth of cash on the balance sheet, but they've done that primarily by issuing new shares of stock. So the problem for Ionic, and this is going to be the same for all of these companies, is that the multiple 440 times sales just doesn't line up with what the business is actually doing. Now, the story is very different. The story is that quantum computing is going to be the future of computing. These are going to be massive companies, but there's nothing fundamentally that is telling us that that's going to be the case right now. I'll get to some historical comparisons because this is not the first time that we've seen stocks go parabolic like this, but what happens next is really what could be problematic. Let's move over to Rigetti Computing. Look, the move here is even wilder. You can see up about 5,000% since September 2024. So just a crazy move. But look at this enterprise value to sales, 1,743. What that is telling you is that there's essentially no revenue for Rigetti Computing. And that's exactly what we see here. $8 million in revenue over the past 12 months. Look at this. Revenue is actually going down. 2022, they had more revenue than they did over the past 12 months. Net loss, $165 million. Cash burn, about $65 million. So you're seeing the same thing here. Not a lot of revenue, a lot of hype, but they're burning cash. And so to fund those operations, they're going to have to continue selling stock that's going to dilute shareholders. And if the business doesn't actually ultimately drive to revenue growth, positive free cash flow, all of those things, you're going to just eventually get diluted further and further with shares. D-Wave, exactly the same thing. 500 times sales, revenue, $22 million, net loss, $282 million, and free cash flow or negative free cash flow is $53 million. You're seeing a theme here. Very, very expensive stocks. D-Wave actually has a market cap of $12 billion, despite the fact that it has very, very little revenue. Quantum Computing, the smallest of these companies, $4 billion market cap, but again, enterprise value to sales, $14,300. That's because they're generating very little in revenue, to uh, less than a million dollars in revenue, and despite that, losses $76 million over the past year, and $25 million worth of cash burn. So right now, we don't see that these are real businesses. There's not much revenue coming in the door. I don't know what the applications are going to be. There's lots of stories about how we could potentially be using quantum computing in the future. But if there was all kinds of value being created, then we would see real revenue coming in. We would see companies really starting to test this. That's absolutely not what we're seeing right now in these companies. So what could happen here in the future? Well, it's very possible that this kind of meme craze could continue for a while. But eventually, companies come back to their fundamentals. They come back to what are you generating in revenue? What are you generating in cash flow? Is the business sustainable? Or do you keep having to come back to the market to sell shares and dilute shareholders? So there's a few examples that I want to go to to show exactly what could happen. Remember AMC a couple of years ago went through a similar craze like this. I'll back this up. But you can see here in 
2021, shares just skyrocketed 500% over the course of a couple of months. But what happened since then? Well, AMC's actual business did not improve all that much. And so the stock is down over 99% over that period of time. And that's because the financials, the revenue, the net income, which is in blue here, the free cash flow, which is in orange, have all been really terrible. This was a stock that went absolutely crazy because investors caught on to it and it went through one of these meme crazes. But that does not mean that the business is worth what it was trading for. So over time, over a long period of time, the stock dropped precipitously. GoPro is another one. This is a company that I thought was really interesting going back to 2016, 2017. But you can see from its IPO, shares actually skyrocketed post IPO. But since then, shares are down about 97%. And that's because GoPro, despite having a significant amount of revenue, especially going back to 2015, 2016, over a billion dollars worth of revenue, they were never able to consistently generate positive free cash flow. That's why the stock has dropped as much as it has. Now, on top of that, they actually had debt on the balance sheet. So you added even more risk. The final one, still a $5 billion company in Trump Media and Technology. This is a company that doesn't really have a real business, but it did go through that meme craze when it went public, got a super high valuation, $20 billion valuation at one point. And what have shares done since then? Well, over time, despite the fact that Trump is back in the White House, despite the fact that there is a bigger megaphone than ever, Shares are down 73%. And that's because the business never matched up with the valuation of the company. $3.7 million worth of revenue over the past 12 months. $41 million worth of negative free cash flow. That is not a business that deserves to be worth $4 billion. I think we can say the same thing for all of these quantum computing stocks. Doesn't mean that quantum computing isn't going to be a thing in the future. But there's currently no real business model. So over time... I think the valuation of all of these companies is going to decline. Now, does that mean that there isn't another 100%, 200% gain in some of these stocks? It's absolutely possible. These memes can go absolutely crazy. Stocks can continue to go parabolic, but over a long period of time, and I'm a long-term investor, this is not how you find 10X stocks. You find 10X stocks by finding companies that have improving fundamentals, that are compounding revenue growth, that are generating free cash flow, that can reinvest in the business or buy back stock. That's how you generate long-term wealth. It's not by buying into meme stocks because eventually the meme ends. And when it does, you don't want to be the one holding the bag. So just a word of caution for some of these quantum computing stocks. I think they're much riskier than a lot of investors currently think they are. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said, if you want more from me, check out my newsletter. And if you liked Fiscal AI, definitely a platform I suggest you look at. Go to fiscal.ai slash ASYM. You can try it out for two weeks for free and then get 15% off if you like what you see. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you here next time.